going to show how to make my my easy salsa. Well, it's kind of easy. Just get a can of whole tomatoes and drain that. Drain the juice out. And then you just kind of pop those tomatoes because they're whole tomatoes. spoon and smush them. And you could do it in the um, food processor too if, it, um, if you find it to be faster. Oh, some dropped in there. Get that out. Let's try to make sure that all the juices are out of there. Not all, but otherwise it'll just be too soupy. And at this point you could probably just save that for soup. And then you just... You could do this in the uh, food processor, but I just... Uh, I kind of just kind of give them a rough chop on my cutting board. This is a good way to make it, I think, because then you you know what you put in it. So yeah, they have a lot of water, and if you if you don't squeeze them out good, then they'll they'll be really soupy. I like having this on burritos or chips or any of that stuff. in there and you can make it as chunky or fine as you want. I like it kind of chunky. That way it tastes like tomatoes. And I used to usually make this with fresh tomatoes but um, sometimes they're not available or uh, sometimes the fresh tomatoes turn watery. So this is a good way to do it and then if you were making it um, for a party or something, you could add uh, like one or two fresh tomatoes. And then, let's go ahead and put some, uh, right at the little edge there, I'm just going to put, this is the first time I'm going to do this, but, uh, Gonna add a little bit of uh, dry mustard just for the um, so it could mix the oil and vinegar. So I'm just gonna put in make a bit of a vinaigrette on the bottom. So just some salt, pepper, just very little pepper. little bit of uh, apple cider and then I use this plastic lime a lot of chefs hate that idea but they haven't lived up in the north where we can't always get fresh citrus and then I just got some uh, pickled jalapeno that I'll use so, and I'll just pour in some oil and vinaigrette there. Same way you would for a, a, a salad. And you can tell by how thick it is whether you need more oil in. I definitely need more oil. Just light olive oil. I 
Okay. That seems good. I'm just going to chop up some jalapeno in a bit. Firstly, I'm going to add onion. Purple onion is what I had. And one large uh, clove of garlic. All minced finely in there. Stir that in. Now for the yummy green part. Cilantro. And I put a big bundle of it like that. Probably comes out too. I don't know, maybe even a cup. And you can eat the stems. The only issue with stems is that, you know, you could they're pretty chewy sometimes. So some of the bigger stems, like that stick one there, you need to take that out. You could use that in soups or stews or and then the skinnier stems, I kind of don't worry about that. Break that off. And cilantro is really healthy for you. Um, it, it does the process of chelation in your body, which means that it binds with the heavy metals and whatnot and eliminates it out of your body. So it's good for you. So basically, I'm just going to bundle this up and give it a chop. Just like shift nod for any other herb. Depending on whether you like the flavor of cilantro or you don't. You can have a little bit of it or a lot of it. I like the flavor and I use it a lot so I put a lot of it in. Try about half and then mix it in and see what it's like. I think even more would do probably the rest of it. Okay. I'm happy with that. And of course it's going to thin down a bit, but if you wanted it to be thinner, you can you could add back some of the tomato tin tomato juice or you could add back uh, or you can add some some more uh, vinegar and some more dressing. And then with these little babies, I think I'm going to try one because they're they are very it's very hot. And if I put too much, I won't even be able to eat it. And I'm just using that and jalapenos, charred jalapenos, they're pickled. But if I could get fresh, I would have gotten some fresh, but I just didn't think about it at the store today. So I have these, and I'm going to use it. If you wanted more heat, you can add more. These are pretty hot. It's even quicker in a blender, but uh, it gets really, you know, it's easy to over blend it and then it gets kind of soupy, which isn't so nice. But that's it. That's how it looks. And it's yummy with uh, chips or tortilla corn chips or um, burritos or any of that stuff. 